Hey Geeks, Josh here. I want to go over a quick topic and that is GPU junction temperature. I'm going to talk about what it is, why it's there, how it's going to impact your graphics card, your gaming, and your computer use, what you need to pay attention to, and I'm going to go through a few settings on my computer that shows you how the uh, temperature changes as you, um, you know, as the temperatures rise and all that good stuff. So what is the junction temperature? Well, starting with the AMD 5000 series, uh, the monitoring program started noticing that there was a so-called hotspot or junction temperature sensor that was displaying. And um, basically what this is, is uh, the junction temperature is a collection of sensors inside uh, the GPU processor on the die in different places. And the reading that it shows is the hottest temperature of those sensors. So it's basically the hottest point of your GPU. Um, now, this differs from the standard GPU temperature because the standard GPU temperature is actually what's called the edge temp, or you might see it as the package temp or some sort of an average temp. So um, they started, uh, you know, they started displaying this information. It's always been the case that there is a hotter spot in the GPU than what you would see in your monitoring software. But for the first time, these sensors are actually displaying that data and you can actually track it and record it and, you know, kind of see what's going on. So again, it's not that somehow the, the, the GPUs of years past were cooler. It's actually that we just never saw the information that was there in the junction temp, okay? So the important thing to note is that the the junction temp is usually going to be quite a bit higher than your GPU temp uh, under full load. Under idle, maybe not so much, but when you are uh, looking at your monitoring software and when you're gaming or doing you know heavy load stuff or overclocking you'll need to pay attention to it the reason why uh, GPU junction temperature is so important is that that's what the you know the system bios the GPU bios and the um, AMD software and drivers use to determine how the boost clocks are going to work okay so even though you see two temperatures the boost clocks and everything else throttling is going to be um, is going to be reliant on that uh, GPU junction temperature because that's the highest temperature okay so it's important to keep that in mind what I want to do is just show you briefly what you can expect to see um, you know on the RX 6800 XT I have that right now in my system paired with a 3950 X and uh, in a, a Lian Lee Land Cool 2 mesh with five fans in um, four out so uh, pretty pretty good airflow in this case uh, Temperature in my room right now is about 72, 74 degrees, somewhere around there. Um, and if I go to the um, default setting of the graphics card here, you'll see that the fan speed is at zero because it's a zero RPM fan by default. The current uh, GPU or current temperature is 44 degrees. Junction temperature is 50, okay? Uh, it's usually a little bit lower than this. Um, I was running some tests a little earlier. It might still be a couple of degrees high. Uh, earlier it was 43 and, uh, and 48, 42, 48, somewhere around there. But basically about a six degree difference right now between the GPU edge temp and the junction temp. Okay. Another thing I want to point out is that with the 6000 series, AMD has really loaded some pretty passive fan profiles. And you'll see when we start to do load that, uh, you know, the fans barely kick on. They're really putting an emphasis on quiet, uh, which is fine. But when you start to do overclocking or you start to tune your system, you want to pay attention to that fan speed because uh, it is going to give you, um, it is going to be remarkably different. So uh, 44 and 51 here on these. What I'm going to do is actually open up a GPU stress test for a mark here. And we're just going to take a look and see what these temperatures uh, are going to do under load for just a minute or two. I'm not going to run this for 30 minutes or anything, but you can see how, how quickly the temperatures are going up under load. Um, earlier when I did these tests and I let it run for a while, my junction temperature uh, with completely stock settings actually got up to 90 degrees uh, Celsius or even 91. And the current GPU or GPU temp uh, was about 20 degrees under that at about 70. Uh, so I expect that that would, you know, if we let this run for a little while, that's what we'll see about a 70 and 90 uh, degrees. Now note that at idle, the difference between the GPU temp and the uh, junction temp was actually uh, six degrees, and I, you know, 
the difference between 70 and 90 is 20 degrees. So as the system goes under load, you can see that gap begins to widen. And again, the drivers and the BIOS and the software that you use um, is going to is going to be looking at that junction temperature to determine how your um, how your GPU is going to boost. So if we look here, I'm at about uh, 2050, 2086, 90 on the GPU clock, right about 2000 megahertz on the memory clock, um, up to 69 and 85. Again, that will continue to go up um, a little bit. What I'm gonna do is, is show you, I'm gonna load a uh, what I would consider a fairly mild overclock, 50% um, fan speed, 2500 megahertz on the minimum frequency core, 2600 uh, on the max frequency. Voltage is down 50 um, millivolts uh, to 1100, stock is 1150. Uh, memories fast timing at 2100 and the fan like I said is set to about 50% at this temperature power limit is up 15% extra so now we can see that our junction temp is up to 93 our current temp on the GPU is 72 so you know it'll continue to rise a little bit but at this setting I don't suspect that it'll ever reach 110 uh, which is the the maximum temperature that uh, AMD suggests that you are likely to see during gaming or normal use. But I wanna point out that, you know, even though 110 degrees might be expected or okay, um, it shouldn't be something that, uh, you know, the, a, a good cooler should be able to keep that temperature way down. And at the 110 degree mark, your uh, GPU will actually start to throttle down and it will no longer boost. Um, it'll still run, but it will start to throttle that performance quite a bit. So hopefully you've seen here the differences in, um, in what to expect with the uh, current temperature, the GPU temp, and the junction temp. If you found the video helpful, uh, you know, go ahead and like that video. If you'd like to see other videos like this about hardware, gaming, overclocking, everything else, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me out quite a lot. Um, that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment and I will be sure to answer it and uh, maybe even make a video about your question at a later date. Thanks.